Welcome back to John's Daily Calls. This is where we break down the market, tell you what we're doing, what we're buying, what we're selling, all that good stuff. I woke up. Um, they just reflipped it. I've been selling lazies. I just wanted to show you guys. We made 66K in profit just through the night um, after waking up, after a couple hours of flipping stuff. And they're not, they haven't been like crazy like they were the first day. But we're still selling that stuff at 38K. Um, I, had, I, I took screenshots of some stuff, but... I was selling a lot of 87s at max price, 18K, 18K, 18K. And so um, I've gone and started selling almost everything out, 38, uh, 25. I've been selling a lot of those at 25, 16, 16. I've got tons of these, actually 87s at 18 because I was selling them. So um, if you guys have been following along, bid battles have been the number one thing to trade. It's been very, it's it's like night and day for us. Um, you know, you can, you can flip some big stuff like our friend elite. He, uh, he hits a lot, but, um, but for the most part, guys, our bids have been absolutely killing it. Um, the bid schedule, uh, today, the new team, the team of the year releases are the midfielders release. So we've got midfielders coming today and then we have defenders coming two days from now. Right. So there should be a good amount. Of, there should be an okay amount of supply today. Nothing crazy. So bid battles are going to be probably a little bit drier than uh, than we like, but I uh, just wanted to keep you guys in in uh, in mind. So they should be heavier than than a lot of the other type of stuff so, or like other pro like it should be somewhat. You should still be able to make some coins. So what we have apparently coming our way is also a icon pack release with an eighty seven plus. That's why the fodder has gone up. Now, when we have a demand that's pushed early, that's pushed everything up, it sometimes scares me a little bit. Just a little bit. It sometimes frightens me when stuff goes up unnaturally, but seeing everything down pre, um, pre before content from overnight, just like, you know, down 25 or, oh man, they're, they're pushing on, playstation but pc's down 14 percent. that kind of gives me doesn't give me confidence that you know it's a little bit of just investor demand uh rather than natural actual demand if you can see this little jump and then everybody that bought here they sell here and then it pulls down and now we're slightly moving up so this shows us some support at 13.5 almost 13.250 13.5 so you know it's tough to say but I almost want to make an all, all a judgment call uh, here for an hour before content, guys. If you guys are just seeing this after content, uh, make sure you guys subscribe to make sure you guys get up to like thirty percent more on your trades by uh, seeing it early. But I almost want to make a judgment call. So if you guys are in the market to take some risk, I would take some risk on eighty sevens, eighty sevens, and eighty sixes. Uh, on the grand scheme of the market, guys, eight k, pretty cheap, pretty cheap for. Uh, for 80 86s now they were low for a period right in early january 6500 is crazy to me but uh 7k 6500 6, or 7k for for 86 it seems like a fair price especially because that's about the bottom yeah now this is probably more accurate to where fodder price is going to be so right here 6500 is is probably the low right we're at 7500 i, I I think 7,500 is going to be about right where we're going to stay at. And so, um, with demand, I like this as well. With uh, t today's going to be the last run of supply, pretty much. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then the full team comes out Thursday. And we're going to get a lot of supply Thursday. So, watch out for Thursday. Um, on top of that, our, uh, we did the podcast. So, make sure you check out the podcast with Sean Elite. Uh, uh, he's been, he was talking about Putellis. He really liked the Putellis trade. My, now, one that I've been kind of keeping an eye on, but here, uh, intermittently, Bernard, she just, she just jumped on her five, five K. She was just at 75. Um, this is a good card. She was at 75, just literally like 10 minutes ago. Cause I was, uh, I'm pretty sure I, yeah, see, I was, I was building a squad and uh, I'm thinking about putting, I'm, Potentially going to get a team of the year VVD and a team of the year Bernard and put those two uh, baddies together. Um, but she just jumped. And I really like the Renard card. Uh, this is a really pretty good card. 
uh, for pretty much almost anybody that's pretty much starting fresh. But high, high work rates, not necessarily great. But um, I, I was going to say that's not bad, but that jumped another 10% almost. So <laughs> that's, that's a little wild. Uh, what's the thing about Sam Kerr? So I think, guys, Sam is going to... May, if if it follows last year's trend, we'll we'll see it come. Uh, maybe it's you know it's saying it's slightly going up over the day, but uh, we may see it slightly pull down as people are trying to build out, trying to see what everything comes out as and where prices are um, before they go into team of the year. I think a lot of people are going to be buying that day of team of the year. Uh, the day of is going to scare a lot of people, but that's might be the day to buy. Uh, Messi has been all over the place. Nine mil, seven mil, eight mil, nine mil. Um, five star skiller. Uh, this when to buy your teams? Realistically, guys, I just think any in like between now and really the day of Thursday is going to be a decent time to buy your stuff. I have a good feeling that the markets should be consistent because I was r originally worried that the honorable mentions would have only would have two play styles and then that would depreciate the market. However, honorable mentions are going to have one play style. So it's not going to, it's not going to hit the base. It's not going to hit the mid metas like, uh, like your trailblade. Uh, I guess that's a, that's a, that's a high meta card, but like, uh, like if you have a, I know it's a maybe maybe a 92 Salah right or a 90 rated Salah. I'm I'm looking for cards around 90 rated that are about four to five hundred thousand coins. Two play style pluses a card that's like an 88 would essentially probably uh, hurt this style of card right. Something like that. Um, maybe even a Janola here, a mid meta. Now he's he's more of a high meta, but you see what I'm trying to say. So. Honorable mentions are going to have one play style. At least this is what's coming from this objective. So given that this objective has one, that's usually indication for the future that EA is going to drop that way. Now, does that mean your teams are safe after honorable mentions? Not necessarily. If we get a leak and future stars or the next promo has two play style pluses and there's only like two 90 rate plus cards in that, you're going to see a lot of base level stuff get absolutely demolished because people are going to be dumping stuff out to get that. Um, and you may even see cards. You'll see cards maybe like a like a Zola here. His 87 card is 90,000 coins, which is, you know, extremely cheap. You know, at, at the max, he was 560, but he's been trading on 74,000 coins, right? And so the 91 here at 600 may not stay at that 600 so you may not it may if they drop a two play style plus this cards like this could get hit really hard because it's a good card but uh, what happens if you could get a i guess a better instead of having dead ball and finesse you have uh first touch plus and finesse and so you get rid of dead ball you know you you, you understand what i'm trying to say maybe there's a little bit something a little bit extra spice to something um, that would create a substitution in the market for that value and completely hit it. But right now, we're going to be bid battling. If you guys don't know what bid battling are, bid battling is, um, we are flip, 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 flip Adelphia. Now, fodder is pretty much mid. It's mid to high here on 89s. Selling a lot, though. I've been selling a lot at 38 uh, over, lot, over list. Almost easier to sell at 89s than anything else. 88s, I was selling at 25. 87s, I've been selling between 16 and 18K. Uh, 86s, I've been selling around 9,500 9, to 10K. Uh, 85s, I haven't been selling a lot, but those are going to be okay to hold. And same thing with 84s and 83s. If you guys are doing the 83 method, 83 John Stones method is back. I tried it out. Um, I was flipping some last night on my, on my dead account uh, just to see if it was working. And I picked up like 50 cards. It's better if you buy one card of of one specific card so if you buy just a Jimenez it might be better than buying like a random amount of 83s because what happens is all those cards go on the list at the same time and if a lazy buyer is coming into the market they're looking at one specific card then they go through page after page after page after page after page and they go through three pages they get bored and then they just, they don't care about the extra 200 coins that they sell for 
and then you just buy it, you buy it off the top. And so that's kind of the psychology behind it. That's a little bit of the psychology behind almost a lot of the stuff uh, on the easy sales that I try to do. Now, 87s, um, I, I think are an all-in call. I think 87 informs are almost an all-in call. I honestly, um, my subs are going to see this early. Uh, I think I'm going to just buy a ton of 87s right now. I've got, I've got an easy, I've got a cool 1.5 mil. Um, I can do that. I'm loaded up on fodder. I'm loaded up on fodder. Um, I've got, I'm, I'm a club stocked on fodder and loaded up. So I've got probably 2.5 mil easily invested into fodder and I could do 1.5. And so with 1.5 at 30 K, I mean, 30,000, 1.5 mil, by by 30,000, uh, I'm, I'm, yeah, I could just, I could just load up and go on a sign for a short period of time and see what happens. Um, sell some out if they don't, but that's pretty much a guaranteed trade right there. That's, I would almost say that's a John Sims, hundred percent guaranteed. If you go back and we go to, let's see what Grimaldo was trading like a long time ago. I mean, he, he never really even went underneath. 40k he never really wanted any 40k what about uh this uh kavar card we see him go down to 48 42 cheap as these guys have been Blinkovic savage uh 30k on the oh on the release never really dropped any 42 though looks like 42 is that price so i almost feel like this is going to be a guaranteed 25 percent return um, that's, that's going to be the, that's the judgment call guys for today. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Uh, make sure you guys tune in, join us live. If you guys want to see us bid and trade live where we made over a million coins on the live stream, um, brand new viewers, brand new members making 200, 300 K absolutely insane. 500 K. Uh, if I, my, my, my dad had a heart attack, so I had to leave. Um, and I probably would have rocked out with, uh, one five. I probably would have rocked out with one five the way things were really rotating. But until next time, guys, thanks for tuning in. And remember, if you buy right, you never lose. And you buy with John, you always win. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Check out others. We have other stuff too. So check that out too. See you tomorrow.